welcome back to my channel. So if you guys are new here, my name is Kristen and today we are finally getting into doing another Tony makeover. You guys, my channel has been all over the place these last couple weeks just trying to make sure I am getting videos up and I was kind of like going through all of my videos for the last few weeks and I realized I have not done a Tony makeover in a very long time. So I definitely wanted to give Bella Goth a complete head to toe makeover. Now if you guys are new to my channel, this is something that I do once in a while is I kind of go through the sims that are like already pre-made in the game and I just kind of like give them a little bit of a glow up. I do not change anything to do with like their body shape or size or anything to do with their face. Like I'm not going to change the size of their lips or their nose. And I kind of try to keep in mind the length of their hair. Um, I do try to like make sure that the hair is the same length. I feel like it just kind of helps me to use different things in the game that I normally wouldn't gravitate to like with shorter hair hair. So I love how Bella turned out. I think she is so beautiful and she's definitely one of the most popular um, created sims in the game. Like she's kind of been around for a while. Everybody knows who the goths are and for the sims 4 I think that Bella is so freaking adorable. I think she has the cutest face and um a very, very curvy body. I think she is so beautiful. I had a lot of fun giving her a makeover. I did use a skin overlay and I did try to keep all of her like clothing items within the red color, um, within the red color tone because like all of her um, clothing outfits, they are red. So when I was doing the makeover, I did keep that in mind and I did keep all of her outfits along like the lines of being sexy and tight and very form fitting because I felt like that is just how Bella enjoys to dress and I definitely feel like it fits her. Um, I feel like she definitely has a very youthful look to her now, whereas like some of the other items were a little bit dated. So I had a lot of fun just kind of giving her a more modern up-to-date look so if there's anything that I did use in her um, makeover like any of the skin overlays or any of like the makeup or clothing that you guys did happen to like and maybe you actually want to put it into your own game there is a tumblr link in the description that'll take you to my tumblr and you will find everything that I have reblogged there so if it does go into my game I always make sure that I do reblog it on tumblr and I am still currently like in the process of um, having it organized so hopefully you will be able to see what you are looking for there and you might even pick up a few extra things because sometimes I get a little addicted to Tumblr and I spend a little more time than I should over there but definitely let me know in the comments which townie would you guys like to see me give a makeover to next and if you guys do enjoy these townie makeovers definitely check out the playlist that I have started with some of the other ones and definitely make sure give this video a very big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy how Bella's makeover did turn out I think she's adorable and I even have some screenies at the end that you guys can get a little closer look and definitely consider subscribing here to my channel. I do post regularly all things Sims related and hopefully I will get to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!